All right, thank you for checking out this video. In this video, we're going to be looking at Radio DJ, the layout. And as you can see, um, this is typically how I like to have my Radio DJ laid out. I like to have a lot of room over here um, in the search function. I only need the artist, the song title, the duration. Um, I really don't need the count play. Um, for my main station, I want to see the ending dates uh, because some things I have in there that are like paid promotions or whatever and I want to see the ending dates over here usually these auxiliary players are over here they take up a lot of real estate and I don't use them as often so I decided to put them over here in zone 3 um, will they be out of the way which gives me more real estate over here in zone 2 and I have nothing in zone four. So how did I get it to look like this? And later we'll talk about the instant players, manual events and the online requests. But if you did yours, uh, if you just installed it, you're probably going to have just to search in the instant players. But in this video, we're just going to talk about layout. Also, you're going to notice in this video, I'm only showing one, two, three, four, five slots. To me, that's enough. I only keep three in the queue anyway. So, for me that's enough so how did i get my layout to look like this so i'm going to go down here to the wrench this is version 2016 but this is the same for all of the 2.0 versions so i'm gonna click on the wrench and i'm gonna go to plugins and in plugins the auxiliary players so i'm double click on that you have a plug-in zone right now i have them in three which is over here by default they came in four plug in zone four. And as you can see, when I do that, they're going to move right back over there. Okay. But because I don't hardly use them that much, um, I don't need them taking up this real estate over here. So this is why I move mine over to zone three. So I'm going to go back to options and plugins, go back to the auxiliary players, double click it and move them to zone three. Okay. So that gives me my real estate over here. All right. The other thing I do is um, I only you can do this however you want. I want to be able to read the song, the artist. I want to be able to read that. So for me, no more than five or six in this. They call it a playlist. I like to call it a queue so that I don't get them confused. So in this playlist queue here, I'm going to go to plugins and I'm going to look for, again, they call it playlist. Yeah, playlist right here. I don't like to call it a playlist because we have a playlist builder. To me, this is more like a queue, but hey. All right, you see that it's in zone one. Now, I've never moved this to another zone. That's interesting. Let's see what happens if I put this in zone two. I've never done that. Hmm. Okay. So now that's over here. Wow. So you can see if you want to really move stuff around in Radio DJ, you can. That gives it a whole totally new look. And of course, if you hover right here on the edge, you can actually adjust the width of that. If you need to. So if you're left handed and you would prefer that on that side, put it in zone number two. However, I like it. You know, the search is still here and everything is still here. I like it in the original zone, which is zone one. So I'm going to go back to the options and plugins and playlist. Put it back in zone one. So you can move any of these. Uh, well, not any, but most of them you can put in different zones and get a completely, totally customized look to your radio DJ. Okay, now uh, let's go back to that. So you can see here the slots number. I got it set to five. You can do more. Um, I don't like doing more because if you do more, 
it gets smaller, they shrink. Um, and see, you got to squinch to see all that. I like for mine to be kind of big. So I keep mine down around five. I think five is good. The other option you have is the mode, the playlist style. I like slot mode. Slot mode looks better to me, but you can select list mode. So let's do that. And I guess when you select that mode, I think you have to restart. So let's restart. Okay. So now it comes up like this. And um, of course, everything down here is moved over. Your buttons that were down here in the middle are now down here. Um, let's see. If I scratch this out, maybe that'll look better. Okay, so you automate it, you replace it. That's cool. Um, let's see what happens if we add... more slots so in list mode which I don't like I see let's take it up to 10 slots you don't have to restart okay so I guess in list mode it only shows you whatever's in the queue okay I don't like this mode because um, and I guess a sweeper would be here if you had one and a voice track would show up here if you had one. Now, this one does give you intro duration, estimated time that it will play. Um, you don't get the album covers. You can still click here and jump to that song and that song will jump up into the player. Uh, some people like the list mode. I don't like the list mode. I like the slot mode. All right, so I'm going to go back to the slot mode. Go back to my five. And I'm assuming, yeah, I'm going to have to restart it to get it back. Okay. So we're back to the slot mode, which is how I like it because, okay. So it doesn't show the album covers, it just shows the number, which makes sense. That's cool. I think someone wanted the album covers there, but that probably would would become a problem. I like this mode because this mode gives me the artist name, the song title, it gives me whether or not it has a sweeper or a voice track. And of course it gives you what time the song is, will play. Over here it tells you what cat, subcategory is in and it gives you some information over here, duration, whether or not it has an intro, also, you can double click right here and you can update the info in here, your details and things. All of that can be updated. You can also assign a sweeper to it by clicking on it. So if I throw that in there, that's a request sweeper. Let's see. So let's jump to the end. Amen. Here's some request music from the request line. Okay. So that was a sweeper. Um, I'll do a video on how to get those in there and the wonderful, fantastic things you can do with sweepers. So this is basically my layout. Now at the bottom down here, uh, you see I have Tracks Manager, the Playlist Builder, Now Playing Info Utilities, and even the Say Time. Um, and I'll do a video on, on the Say Time for those that don't have it working. But the current time is 322. Okay. So how do you change this down here? Um, because when it comes, when it, by default, it has quite a few things over here and it kind of pushes all of this over a little bit. Um, 
I like more real estate over here for search and just enough real estate over here to see what it's doing. But how do you change them on the bottom right there? All right, let's go back over here to the options. And this time we're going to go to the second options, which is really under here. And you have these tabs up here. And the tab we want to go to is the one that says other settings. So if it's on this side, it's going to be on the bottom down here. So if I want to remove that say time, I need to push that over there. And when I hit close, it will make the adjustment. Now the say time is not down there. So for those who want to put more stuff down there or less stuff over here, you will go to options, options. And on the other settings tab is where you will make those adjustments. I put things on there that I use the most that makes sense to me. I don't want everything on the bottom because it starts to jumble up. And I'll show you some of you are using uh, different screen resolutions and having everything over there can kind of mess that up. Now, because I have a, a wider screen, I can get more information on here. Um, but I don't like having all of that. So you click on history. Um, see, that, that, that one doesn't work. The folder sync works. The exporter, it works. Of course, we know utilities work. So that's how you can change what those buttons are down on the bottom. Okay, also to note in layout, sometimes you may find this search has moved and every time you start up, it's, it's on instant player or maybe it's on another tab and you want the search function to come up. Just simply click, hold and drag it and let it go. And it should stay there. If it's not staying there, I don't know what to tell you. Make sure you run Radio DJ in administrative mode so that it has control over itself and not be limited. Another thing in layout is the date. Um, I like the, my date to say the day of the week and then the month, day and the year. How do you, how do you get it to do that? Cause it doesn't come up that way by default. So we're going to go back to options and go back to options. And this first tab right here, you can change how that looks. By looking at this format, we know that the four D's will do the day. The four M's will do the month. A single D will do today's date and the four Y's will do the year. Um, so you can change that by typing that in. And then of course this link right here takes you to where you can do various combinations of that. I just like mine like that. Wednesday, August the 14th, 2019. I like for mine to read that way. All right. So as far as layout, I think that's it. Um, I think you guys got, you'll see another video on how to do the, um, the logo in the top right corner. Most of you probably know, but if you don't, there'll be another video on how to do that. All right, hope this has helped. See you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe and like so that I'll know that I'm reaching people and that I'm um, helping people. I'm doing these videos because a lot of people have come to me and said they like the way that I do videos. And so because of that, I decided, okay, well, I'm going I'm to do the videos and put them here and try to keep them short, try to keep them under 20 minutes. Um, before I go, on the search function, um, this is still part of layout. How do I get it to just say artist title? You know, how do I do that? How do I set this up to say what I want it to say? The columns that I want. Go back to options and go back to plugins. Let me move this over. Go to plugins. 
and this is the search so you want to go to the search right here click on settings or you can double click on it and now when it comes up you can move it too you can move it to zone one right now it's in zone two you can move it to zone three or four there are four zones I like to have real-time refresh on so as I'm typing what I'm looking for it starts searching and I make sure that album search is turned on now he added this feature in 2.0 called um, advanced filters so if I click OK you're gonna see that you get this extra column right here which can be very helpful in times and what it does is it lets you drill down let's look at that real quick it lets you drill down to specific things because currently oh well I guess when that comes you lose the top selection so you have to do it over here um it used to be when you selected music you had to select the category with this you can select music and it'll do all the music which is a very nifty feature whereas before when you selected music you then can only look at one of the subcategories whereas this will let you look at everything that's music And of course, you know, you can go through and find specific songs or specific genres. Um, you can get down to specific artists, a group of artists, you know. So it's a it's a very nifty, handy way of getting around on the search so let's go back and i'll show you the limitations of the default search settings so if i turn off the events filters and hit ok it's going to go back to the default and you're going to see that if i select music it's not going to show me all the music i have to pick a subcategory so the advanced feature is really advanced it's really that advanced all right so let's talk about how to pick what column you want over here so I'm gonna go back to that options and plugins and under the plugins I'm gonna to go to search and just double check on it and you probably looked at this you have checks here a list of things that you can show over here under search um, some people don't want but just the song and take the duration off the song and the title so you just check and uncheck what it is you want to be over here in this column it's totally up to you and of course by doing that you know reducing the amount of information there you can kind of give more space over here because you got it low it's entirely up to you how you want to lay it out but that's how you would do it so if I wanted to show the album the intro is a time duration is a time let's say I wanted to show how long it is um maybe what year the song was done what else will be another one the album art it doesn't show the album but what it does it gives you the location of it so this one is not such a big a big deal well, it gives you the name i guess it gives you the name of the cover that's being used for that song and so you can quickly easily see that this song right here doesn't have a cover because it puts the default no underscore cover underscore image dot jpeg for the image so any of those that you see means that person or that particular song does not have a cover all right and you can see the years the other good thing about this i could sort by the years 
See, by clicking on these um, headings, subheadings, it will alphabetize or or alpha alpha numericalize. I don't even know if that's a word. It'll put them in order by year. Same with duration. Um, this will show you from the, the least or you can switch it and go from the most down in the other way. Same with album. You can put albums in alphabetical order. You can put titles in alphabetical order or you can put artists in alphabetical order. In you know, going up or going down. Ascending or descending. So that's how you change how that looked. The same is true for the track manager. Um, I'm going to do a different video on the track manager because there's a lot of things under the track manager. But the track manager is the same way. You can, you can decide what columns you want to show. All right.